There's been a lot of debate about Halo Infinite's battle pass since the game released multiplayer early, and one hot topic is whether or not progression is too slow. This is linked to the challenge-only XP system, which most people find intolerable, but does that result in a battle pass that's actually slow or is it just creating the illusion of one? This is hard to fully gauge because you have to factor in two things, luck and skill. Luck, because you may go 5 Halo Infinite matches in a row without landing that one oddball match you need to complete a challenge, and there's nothing you can do about it. Skill, because 10 Commando Rifle kills could take one player 2 games and another 10 games. But, all we have is data, and I thought I'd fish through a few readers who have offered up their progress and play times. I have one reader who is at rank 66 with 104 hours of playtime and 390 matchmade games. The catch? They also used 2 XP boosts pretty much the entire time. So in their case, that would be something like 312 total hours to finish the battle pass without XP boosts, or 585 matchmade games.